Listen, Spike. Yeah. If you make it, we'll meet you at the hideout we told you about. We'll be out of here in a couple of weeks. All right, Mug. I'll be waiting for you. You'll find Blake and Hashknife, a couple of our pals around King City. How do you know they'll be there? They've got good reason for being there. You'll find out about that later. Jiggers, here comes Pussyfoot. Come on, Spike. The warden wants you. I wonder if he'll make it. Come in. Spike, I've been receiving bad reports about you lately. What about it? If you want to keep out of solitary confinement, I advise you to... <laughs> Sound the alarm. the break. What's the rump? Spike Manning got away. Thank you, Dave. Miss Satan, Spike Manning's circuitry just came in. See that they're sent out immediately. Be sure and cover all the counties along the border. We'll put up here for the night. You've been wanting a night like this. Now what are you going to do with it? Wait till Hash gets here and then I'll tell you. Well, here he comes now. Okay, what a snore. I'm as wet as a sea elephant. And as dry as a rattler. Take a snore of this. Give me a lift with this, will you? That's yeah, good. What's on your mind, Blake? Just this. The storm has washed off the South Fork Bridge. The stage can't get through. They'll have to put up at the halfway house. What of it? There's $10,000 on that stage. The payroll for the Golden Mill. Are you sure of that? I ought to be. I put it in the strong box myself. Sounds like a stage. How are we going to handle it? The stage can't get to the halfway house until about midnight. I'll give you a duplicate key to the storm box. Here it is. It'll be up to you boys to get to it. Lock it up after you've got the dough out. Then they won't know that anything has happened until they open the box at the mill. <laughs> then the old man will have another mystery to solve. I'll say he will. Say, how's your old man, Kent? Any danger of him being around? Not on a night like this. I understand he let his ranch foreman go. Well, after you took his cattle, he had no need of a foreman. If this deal goes through tonight, Blake, will you call everything even and let me out of all this? Not just yet, Ken. 
We're always sure the sheriff ain't going to be around when we've got his son with us. Oh, I tell you, I'm stepping out of this after tonight. If you do, you know what'll happen. <laughs> it won't be long, Kent. Muggs will soon be out of the big house, and then we're leaving this country for good. Getting late. Time you boys are getting started. I'll meet you at the saloon in the morning. The rain is left up. I reckon the storm's about over. Watch your step. You do this job right. Don't worry, I ain't slipped up yet. on the South Fork is washed out. We'll have to stay here overnight. Oh, the bridge washed out, eh? Yep. Well. Here's the key to your room. We put the horses in your barn. That's all right, isn't it? Sure. Well, Dad, uh, have you got a safe we can put this in for the night? Ain't got a safe, but I got a better place. Bring it along. This is better than safe because nobody knows it's here. That's fine. I guess we'll turn in. Good night, Dad. Good night. Call us early, Jake. All right. This is going to be a cinch. You wait outside and have my horse ready. somewhere. They've had a fight over the money. Well, we'll turn him over to the sheriff. He'll get the dope on him.
Who's there? I'm looking for the sheriff. Come in. I certainly had a hard time getting here. The South Park Bridge is washed out and I had to swim the stream. Dad's asleep, but if it's important, I can wake him. That won't be necessary. I can talk to him in the morning. But I'd like to put up here for the night. Sure, there's an extra bunk. I'm sleeping out here myself. Well, thanks a lot. That was quite a storm we had. Yeah, certainly was. Well, Wilson, I'd like to help you out, but I don't need any foreman at present. But, uh, although I do need someone on the ranch to keep it up until I restock it in the spring. I'll make you a proposition, Sheriff. I'll work for my room and board until you restock and can afford to pay me wages. Hmm, I can hardly turn down a proposition like that. It's a deal. When do I start? Right now. Good. What happened to your arm? Got a slug in my shoulder about a month ago when my cattle were being rustled. Hmm. About well. I reckon I can discard this at any time. Who's your prisoner? I don't know for sure. But he answered the description of one of Slade's gang who robbed the National Bank at Oak Grove a year ago. I heard about that robbery. They made quite a haul, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Close to 100,000. Thanks for the job, Sheriff. I'm going to have a look at the town. All right, Wilson. I'll see you at supper. Fine. Anything of a sheriff's kid? I hadn't been here all day. Give me a shot of rye. to hear their conversation. Maybe I can help you out. All right. Spill it. What happened? I don't know. Hay said it would be Ascension. and told me to wait outside with the horses. I did as he said, and suddenly I heard the sound of a fight. Someone came to the door and fired a shot in my direction. And I beat it. You'll have to find out just what happened from Hayes. And he's in jail. And you're gonna get him out. I can't let him out, Blake. Dad never leaves the place unguarded. Why he even sleeps there when he has a prisoner? Just the same, you're gonna get him out. And in a hurry, too. I tell you, Blake, I can't do it. You gotta get me out of this. I told you it'd only be a couple of weeks more. Then we're leaving this country for good. What'd you find out? Plenty. Blake is forcing the kid to get a fellow they call Hash out of jail. That's just what I thought. The kid's in the jam. This'll hand you a laugh. I've got a job as foreman on the sheriff's ranch. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Boy, what a break. And get this. From now on, my name is Wilson. All right, boys, who's going? 
going to be the lucky man today and take home $50. $100. We're giving you the best of it today. $100 for $50 that you can't stay. Five minutes with Dugan. Who can stay with him? Come on, hard time. Here's a chance for him. Make yourself some money. Don't overlook a bit like this. Go on in and wrestle again. Come on, big boy. There's your chance. Why don't you go and make yourself a hundred? Not me. After six months in the big house, I'm in no condition to wrestle. Oh, go on. It'll be a good workout for you. Besides, I want to see you in action again. They might have to carry me out of here, but... Here it goes. <laughs> Yes, because I ain't got the 50 bucks. Oh! <laughs> well, maybe I'll have better luck next time. Well, what can we do for you, young fellow? What are those odds? 100 to 50 that you can't stay five minutes with Dugan. All right. Here's your 50. You got a mm. pair of trunks around? Sure. And a complete outfit in the back room there. Oh, <laughs> Anybody else got 50? We can take on two or three. If Dad ever found out, what would he think? What would Sis think? Who's going to find out? I tell you, we've got to get Hash Knife out of there, or he's apt to spill everything. And that wouldn't be so hot for you, either. All right, young fellow. Now, uh, you understand the rules, do you both? Who's keeping time? Honest Ben Johnson. And he'll call each minute. Don't worry about him. Now, no strangle holes, no hitting with a fist, use the elbow if you want to, no gouging of eyes or pulling of hair, and don't hit below the belt. I'll give you 20 seconds on the outside of the ring and 10 seconds on the inside. And no grease or oil, let's see. All right, let's see your fingernail. All right, when I say break, break quick and break clean. Take your hand. Take your corner. Say, that's Dad's new foreman. No.
Gee, Wilson, that was swell. Meet Mr. Blake. He's our Wells Fargo Express agent. How are you, Blake? Glad to know you. Will you join me in a drink? Sure. As soon as I change my clothes. Well, I got to be going, Blake. See you later. All right. I'm going to run you over to the county seat tomorrow, Hash Knife. They'll probably put you on bread and water for a while. Then you'll talk. Hello, Dad. Hello. Say, your new foreman just threw Dizzy Dugan. Is that right? He seems like a mighty fine chap. Kid, I wish you'd run down and get the mail. All right, Dad. I got a surprise for you, Blake. My real name is Spike Manning. Spike Manning? The gun thrower? That's my reputation along the border. Weren't you sent up for killing a guy? That's right. But I slicked him and got away. I had a cell right next to Muggs and the boys. No. Muggs sent me here to look you up. He said to tell you that everything is rosy. They expect to be out in a few weeks now. Well, that's good news. And aren't you taking a chance not keeping undercover? Nobody knows me around here. Too bad you didn't get here sooner. Hash and I have just ginned up a $10,000 job. And now he's in jail. Leave that to me. I'll get him out. I'm working for the sheriff now. So I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hash Knife can stay at the hideout until the boys get here. We'd better lay low for a while. There ought to be enough dough for all of us when Muggs gets out. So Muggs told you, eh? Yeah. Muggs sure slicked them all right. You see, we all had to split up. Muggs buried the dough just before they caught him. They didn't have much on him, and that's why he's getting out. I'll see you later, Blake. I have to get back on the job. All right, Spike. Here's to the game. May we live long and prosper. The game. Here you are, Dad. Thanks, son. Going home, Sheriff? Right away, Wilson. I'll be back right after supper, Ken. Certainly, Dad. I hear you mopped up on Dizzy Dugan. <laughs> yeah, I had quite a workout. Hey, kid. Come here. Where were you last night? Why didn't you give me a hand? I didn't know anything was wrong until they started firing at me. What happened? Oh, some guy kicked me in the head and got away with the dough. Who was it? I don't know. It was so dark I couldn't see nothing. I certainly enjoyed your dinner, Miss Baxter. I'm glad you liked it. But Dad should have told me we were going to have company. Not exactly company, my dear. He's going to be with us from now on. You see, uh, Mr. Wilson is our new foreman. Well, this is a surprise. Maybe I'll get some good meals now you're here. <laughs> now, Dad, that wasn't at all nice. I must be running down to the office and relieve Kent. Uh, you go ahead and enjoy your smoke, Sheriff. I'll run down to the office and relieve Kent for you. Thanks, Wilson. I would like a few moments at home. Excuse me, Miss Baxter. Certainly. But don't forget, we have an early breakfast. All right. Good night. Good night. Judy, what do you think of him? He seems to be very nice, Dad. Well-mannered and not bad to look at. I think he's going to be all right. I tell you, you've got to get me out of this. It's your fault I'm in here. You could have helped me last night. I tell you, I couldn't. Listen. If you let me out, I'll make Blake leave you alone. You understand? It's your only chance to get even. And if you don't, I'm going to do some talking myself. Hello, Wilson. Your dinner's waiting for you, Ken. I'll stay here till your dad comes down. Thanks. See you later. All right.
We've got to hurry, Ash. What do you mean? I mean you're getting out of here. I'm Spike Manning. Muggs and the boys sent me down here to join up with you and Blake. You've got to lay low at the hideout until they get here. Come on. From the state penitentiary. Just as I thought. Or how to my trail. I'll take care of this, so nobody will recognize me around here. You're lucky you found it. You gotta tie me up, Ash, and make it look like somebody else did the job. I get you. A good thing you showed up today. They were gonna take me away tomorrow. Uneasy. Tell us just what happened. I don't know what happened, Sheriff. I was sitting here with my feet on the desk. My back to the door. I heard someone come in. I thought it was you. Before I could turn, I was hit on the head. That's all I remember. I'm sorry I got you into this, Wilson. My fault. I should have come myself. Ted, you round up the boys, and we'll see if we can't pick up Hash Knife's trail. These last three weeks have been the happiest I've ever known. They've been my happiest, too. I'll soon be leaving here for a few days. When I return there, there's something I want to ask you. You do care for me, don't you, Judy? Of course I do. Excuse me a minute, Judy. What's the trouble, Jim? Muggs and the gang just got in and hash knives with them. I heard them talking to Blake in the back room. Blake's planning another robbery and he figures you in on it. And Brokaw's gang's going to join them at the hideout. They plan to surprise the sheriff and then clean out the bank in town and beat it across the border. They'll be at the hideout in about an hour. You better get out there. Right. I'll keep my eye on Muggs. His first move will be to go for that money. You keep your eyes open. I might see you in town tonight. All right, Spike. Who is that girl, Kent? She's an entertainer at the saloon. I wonder what she wants with Wilson. I have to leave town for a few days. But where are you going? I can't explain now, Judy. But I'll be back real soon. Huh, that's funny. Wonder what's up.
Judy. What are you doing here? Who is that girl you were talking to? She's an entertainer. At the saloon? Yes. Friend of yours? Not exactly. Why? Well, I was just curious. Why did you come here? What is this place? I can't explain anything now, Judy. But I will tell you this. Our whole future depends upon you going home. Now, please don't question me anymore, because I can't answer you now. Just one question. Does that girl mean anything to you? Why, certainly not. Don't be silly, honey. Let's go. Those men. What is the meaning of all this mystery? I wish I could tell you, Judy. This will all be cleared up later. Those men mustn't see you. You've got to get out of here right now. This leads to the outside. Get home as quickly as you can, and please don't say a word to your dad. All right. I'm glad to see you. How are you, Mug? Hello, Bass Pike. I thought you and Breeze would never get here. We made it as soon as we could. Let's go inside. I got a lot of things to talk over. Well, I'll say we have. Come on. I'm sure anxious to hear, kid, how you made the getaway. The old place sure looks nice. Huh? I say we won't be steady. I won't need it. She Lord, looks just the same, don't she? I don't know if we were to find her. The bike didn't see in town. I can make sure you don't get some kind of day. How'd you make the getaway, kid? It was a cinch. I jumped through a window and got the warden's hat and coat, climbed into a truck they were loading, and rode right out of that place. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're certainly hot on your trail. Your face is plastered all over the country. Take a look at this. Wanted for murder and highway robbery. Spike Manning. A thousand dollars dead or alive. You're taking an awful chance running around loose. I think I can rustle you boys a drink. Good. 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 I'll be right back. Don't be long. Yeah, very right back. Don't be long there, will you? Judy. Don't speak to me. I don't want to hear a thing you have to say. Then you heard. Yes, everything. But Judy, I can explain. Oh, there was enough explained in there. I tell you, I don't ever want to see you again. You must listen to me. Let go of my reins. But, Judy... I tell you, let go of my reins. Hey, here you are, fellas. Hey, 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 hey. I sure can use this. We haven't had any sleep in 24 hours. You guys better have a little snooze and get rested up. We can talk things over later. That's a good idea. I have to run back to the ranch. You see, I'm the sheriff's new foreman. <laughs> <laughs> so we heard. I understand we got the sheriff's kid working with us, too. How'd you arrange that, Hayes? Well, we hired the kid one night to help us move some cattle. He didn't know it was his dad's herd that we were rustling. And the old man this deputy surprised us. So we just told the kid that they were rustlers. Being night, he couldn't tell the difference. Well, we all started throwing lead, including the kid. He didn't know we'd filled his gun with blanks. And just in case he found out what we was doing and started trouble. And we convinced the kid that it was him who shot his old man. 
Blake's held it over his head ever since. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to shove off. I'll see you later. All right, Spike. What's happened, Judy? What's wrong? Wilson, I just can't believe it. But it's true, Dad. I followed him. He and his gang are at the Owl Cave. And Hash Knife's with him. Let's have a look at his room. from the Golden Mill. That settles it, Judy. That's him now. Put him up, Wilson. I can't explain anything, Sheriff. But you're sure making a mistake. There's nothing to explain, Spike Manning. You've played your last card. It's money from the Oak Grove National Bank. So you are responsible for that too, eh?
Get going. Judy, you bring along that money and put it in the bank. But, Sheriff, I... Get going, I said. Get in there. What's happened, Sheriff? Who's your prisoner? My new foreman. Turned out to be Spike Manny. Spike Manny? Are you sure? There isn't a doubt about it. He's been using my ranch as a hiding place for his loot. I found the $10,000 Golden Mill payroll in his bunk and he just walked in with a satchel full of money from the Oak Grove National Bank robbery of a year ago. Judy's putting it all in the bank. So he turned out to be a double crosser, eh? His gang is hiding out at Owl Cave. I want you to help me round up a posse, Blake, and we'll take the whole gang. I certainly will. I'll run up the office and get my gun. Manning, here's what we do to double cross her. All right, Blake. You and Kent comb the valley for every available man and meet me at the creek crossing. But, Dad, do as I tell you. You're coming with me or take the consequences. Get going.
He's the hombre that got the Golden Mills payroll, and the sheriff has just caught him with the dough from our old Groves job. You mean he got our dough? You're right. The money's gone. But we'll get it back. That dough is all in the bank. Broke on his men ought to be here any minute now. The sheriff has formed a posse and is headed this way. That'll leave the town helpless. We'll meet Brokaw and go back to town by way of Gopher Flats. Clean out the bank and be over the border before night. And you're going with us, right in the lead. I reckon if your old man catches up with us, there won't be much shooting when he sees you. All right, men, get your guns. Let's go. Where's the kid? Oh, he's probably hiding in the cave. Well, we haven't got time to run him down. Let him go. Come on. Can't I can't explain. But I'm not the fellow you think I am. It's up to you to warn your dad in the bank. Your dad won't listen to me, so I'm going to somebody who will. This is your chance to redeem yourself. I'll get going. Now's our chance, Brokaw. The town's helpless. My men are all ready. Let's go. There's a gang of about six outlaws heading for town by way of Gopher Flats. Wilson sent me to warn you. Wilson's in jail. I just left him. He's gone for help. I tell you he's on the square, Dad. Blake's responsible for all this. Explain yourself. Well, it's this way. Why, Wilson, what are you doing here? There's a gang of outlaws headed for King City. They're going to clean out the bank. We've got to hurry, Barney. I've only got a few men here, and I'm with you. Honest, that's the truth of it, Dad. That's proof enough for me. Come on, man.
You hurt much, Jim? Just a flesh wound, Barney. Won't you please explain who you really are? Sure, Sheriff. The government sent me to prison to get the dope on this gang and try and find out what happened to that Oak Grove bank money. You see, the whole thing was a frame-up, even my escape from prison. I've been working under orders. I was under oath, too, Sheriff. It was mighty hard not to have been able to explain to you and Judy. Miss O'Day at the saloon was working with me on the case. Well, he's one of the cleverest kid in the G service. I used to work with him. Well, we, we'll have to get him to a doctor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to my future son-in-law who I claim is the best G-man and the worst bad man the West ever knew. <laughs> Here's to the bad man. 